Really, the spirit of Islam is, is based on learning the deen and acting on it and taking it out to people and taking it out in a state of humility and submission, not taking it out in a state of arrogance and self-righteousness. The Sahaba, radiallahu anhum, they were not arrogant people. When they went to the corners of the earth, they went with deep humility. But they had izza, they had izza to nufus. They weren't humble in a meek sense. No, they were like lions. But they were humble in the sense that they recognized that the rest of the world was in the state they were in because they had not been given Islam and they had been given Islam and Islam is a blessing. Wallahi, it's a blessing. <laughs> We live in the South Valley and then we come up here every Sunday basically to be with family. That's okay. what it is like a Zaytuna, like a family spirit and the openness, the warmth is wonderful and the knowledge, the sacred knowledge is so important that uh, we cannot even count the benefits and just to receive the sacred knowledge not only just from Shikamza but from other brothers and sisters. So it, it's a good learning process but what we also see this is a good outreach for non-Muslims to come and see what Islam truly is. It's not a cultural thing and it's not what you see on the news. Right. So it, it's it's an invitation to for you to see what's available and for you to learn and make a judgment for yourself. Sister? Amy Jackson. Amy Jackson. And what brought you to Zaytun Institute on this beautiful morning? On this beautiful morning, this particular beautiful morning was to see my Shahada. Okay. I've been here before, twice before. I saw um, Sheikh Jak Jacobi mm -hmm. speak once, and I saw um, Hamza Yusuf last weekend, mm -hmm. or the weekend before, I guess. And how did you feel about those particular classes with those particular people? Oh, they're great. They're really, really good. I had seen, when I started studying Islam, I saw a series of five Alhambra productions. Mm -hmm. And that's when I was just learning about Islam and getting interested. The series on uh, Foundations of Islam, I think, maybe? Uh, or which? was revealed, Pillars of Islam, Imam, um, and, Sign of the Times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that was all, that whole set. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and so I saw the, the videos, and I read Martin Ling's book on the life of Prophet Muhammad, and I could not put that book down. Like I, believe, I already believed in one God, I already did, and I read that book, and I believed in Prophet Muhammad. Uh, background, uh, Christian, all my life, born and raised Christian, um, writer, artist, uh, human being. <laughs> Sounds good, and. How long have you been coming to Zaytuna? This is my second time. Um, I about two months ago, I just was thinking a lot about Christianity and things I didn't like about it and what was going on in the Middle East. And I started reading about Islam and it was me. It's where I've always been all my life. Wow. It's, it, I just fit into it. Everything I've heard, everything I've read has been what I felt. Okay. And how did you come in contact with Zaytun in, in particular? Uh, my next door neighbors are Muslim. And um, I had some problems in the beginning, you know, with relationship with them. Not, not, no arguments or anything like that, but right. it was just they were Muslim, I was Christian. Right. And started to get to know them and talk to them, and they're just wonderful people. And they, they told you about this place? Yes, they told me about it, and they brought me here last week, you know, okay. to give my shahada. Then can you describe just how you feel being here? Is there anything that that you could say has been like a tangible benefit that makes you want to come back, or is yeah, it, there's a brotherhood, there's a unity and a harmony, and every, I didn't feel that in Christian churches, when I went to Christian churches, okay. that it's it's more about brotherhood than self, it's more sharing, more charity, it's just good religion.
Before I started studying here, I was, uh, I, I didn't pray, I wasn't very religious, I really didn't care. But after I started taking classes, gradually my life started changing. Everything I learned, I tried to implement it in my lifestyle. Like, you know, the way dress changed, the prayers, you know, I went to study abroad. I went to Syria with the encouragement of Sheikh Hamza. I went to study abroad. Like some of his students went to Mauritania and um, I think uh, Hadramont. It was a very good experience for me. And inshallah, I would um, like to help other people, new Muslims also, okay. in their journey. Alhamdulillah, I became Muslim about four years ago from the Jewish tradition. And Alhamdulillah, I'm at the Zaytuna, just benefiting from the knowledge and the brotherhood here. Alhamdulillah. Okay, and if you could summarize how you feel your life has been benefited by Zaytun Institute and what takes place here? Or do you feel like there's yeah. been a benefit? Alhamdulillah, I've been listening to Sheikh Hamza Yusuf for about two years now and I can really say that he's guided me intellectually and spiritually to just understanding Islam and to, to have a real practical Islam in my life and in presenting Islam to others. And now that I come here often, Alhamdulillah, I'm, I'm uh, with the community that's doing this and it's my level of Iman and this is increasing as well as the brotherhood being with the brothers is, is amazing so alhamdulillah. We you know whenever I come to Zaytuna the people here the classes I take there's something I was telling talking to a sister just a few minutes ago that I always go home with something that I can implement like the class today what you know what we uh, Imam Hamza talked about I could always you know take something home and some of the sisters, I have a halakha in San Francisco that I go to, they always call me, so what did you learn today from Zaytuna? Yeah. And I'm just so glad, so they can't come because they don't drive and they have other things to do. But alhamdulillah, I'm sharing what I get from here, right. you know, and you know, subhanAllah, sometimes I come here, I'm tired or I'm sad. I go home, wow, you know, subhanAllah, I mean, it's just, you know, we're just here, we're visitors here. Why am I so worked up about nothing? You know, it doesn't matter. You know, it's all about our ibadah, our uh, interactions with people. You know, subhanAllah, alhamdulillah. I'm constantly reminded of, you know, it's not the dunya, it's the hereafter. This is just nothing. SubhanAllah. Yeah, the atmosphere here is very um, heartwarming. I can honestly say I've never been to a place with better brothers, better, bre better, uh, just that brotherhood is here. You can see it. It's not when you when you read about brotherhood in Islam, you take this book and it's like, okay, this is really nice. When you come to the Zaytun, you see the brotherhood. You feel the brotherhood. You are the brother, and you're with the brothers. Alhamdulillah. And the same is for the sisters as well when they come here. Alhamdulillah. It's just a beautiful environment. Plus, being around all these scholars and just the noodle from them. It just the vibe that you get from here is like no other. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how else to put that, but it's just it's just being here. It's just being here just does it for me. I feel that at the heart of my experience at Zaytuna Institute is the witnessing of the manifestation of the true meaning of the word Ihsan or to make beauty and beautiful, to beautify, to be excellent. And I mean from the design of the medrasa to the layout of the grounds, um, the trees, the plants, the flowers, the birds, and the beauty of the selfless work of all the people that came together to make all of this beauty. And I believe that that beauty 
mixes with the beauty of the love between these people because these are people who believe in God, the Creator, Allah. And they're gathering together at this place to remember the Creator, to remember our purpose, to mention Him, to reflect, and to draw closer to Him and to learn His path. So then that creates an atmosphere of peace and tranquility which descends from Allah through the presence of the angels of mercy, inshallah. Because there is a tranquility here. I mean a real tranquility that's felt. And I think it's felt because it's such a stark contrast to the speed and the, the stress in the environment and lifestyle that surrounds this place.